Top 10 Amazing Fielding Efforts in Cricket History Number 10 During the Wills Quadrangular Tournament in 1997, Amr Suhil was a part of the Pakistani team in this game and did produce a notable fielding performance at point. Marvin Adapatu played a cut shot towards point. The ball was hit firmly and looked like it would beat the fielder. However, Amr Suhil, who was positioned at point, dived to his right and managed to get a hand on the ball. Number 9 In the Australia Tour of South Africa 6th ODI at Jikyabruha on April 6, 2002, Matthew Hayden made some excellent stops at backward point to save runs for his team. He was particularly impressive in the sixth over of the match, when he dived to his right to stop a hard-hit cut shot from South African batsman Graham Smith off the bowling of Ian Harvey. Number 8 During the Airy Gold Cup final between Sri Lanka and Pakistan held on April 20, 2001, at Sharjah, Mutia Muralidharan produced a notable fielding performance at backward point. Insamam Al Haq played a cut shot towards backward point. The ball was hit hard and looked like it would beat the fielder. However, Morali Daran, who was positioned at backward point, dived full length to his left and managed to get a hand on the ball. Then he quickly recovered and threw the ball towards the wicketkeeper's end, nearly running out Insamam. Number 7 During the Australia Tour of New Zealand in 2005, the third ODI between New Zealand and Australia was held at the Amy Stadium in Christchurch on December 10, 2005. Hamish Marshall produced a notable fielding performance at point. Brad Hodge played a square drive towards point. The ball was hit hard and looked like it would go past the fielder. However, Marshall, who was positioned at point, dived to his right and managed to get a hand on the ball. He then quickly recovered and threw the ball towards the wicketkeeper's end. Number 6 During the Airy Gold Cup final between Sri Lanka and Pakistan held on April 20, 2001, Saklain was also involved in a brilliant fielding during the Sri Lankan innings. Sanath Jayasuriya played a ball towards mid-on and called for a quick single. Saklain, who was fielding at his bowling position, quickly jumped to his left, picked up the ball in right hand. Number 5 West Indies Tour of New Zealand's second ODI at Taupo on January 4, 2000. Craig McMillan was a part of the New Zealand team in this game and did produce a notable fielding performance at Gully. Jimmy Adams played a square drive towards Gully. The ball was hit hard and looked like it would go past the fielder. However, McMillan, who was positioned at Gully, jumped into air and managed to get a single hand on the ball. He then quickly recovered and threw the ball towards the wicketkeeper's end. Number 4 During the Indian Oil Cup final between Sri Lanka and India held on August 9, 2005, at Colombo, Mohamed Kaif produced an outstanding fielding performance at the cover position. Sanath Jayasuriya played a cover drive towards cover region. The ball was hit firmly and looked like it would beat the fielder. However, Kaif, who was positioned at cover, jumped to air and dived full length to his left and managed to get a hand on the ball. Number 3 In the Pakistan tour of Zimbabwe 5th ODI at Harare on December 1, 2002, Dion Ibrahim made some excellent stops at short cover to save runs for his team. He was particularly impressive in the fourth over of the match, when he dived to his right to stop a hard-hit drive from Pakistani opener Cameron Akmal off the bowling of Travis Friend. Ibrahim also made a couple of other stops in the innings. Number 2 During the India tour of Sri Lanka in 2008, the fourth ODI between India and Sri Lanka was held at the R. Premadasa Stadium in Colombo on August 27, 2008. Gautam Gamber played a back-cut shot towards backward point. Dilshan, who was positioned at backward point, dived full length to his right and managed to get a hand on the ball. He then quickly recovered and threw the ball towards the wicketkeeper's end. Number 1 TV's Cup Australia vs New Zealand's seventh match at Guwahati in November 9, 2003. In the fourth over of New Zealand's innings, Stephen Fleming played a cover drive towards the cover area. The ball didn't hit well, 
edged the bat and gone through at square leg region. Brad Hogg, who was fielding at square leg, ran to his left, timed his jump to perfection, and plucked the ball out of thin air with his left hand. 